who they're going to see. There's Corky. Corky, do you want to start off first? He's frozen. I will actually. Yeah. Sorry, David. You yeah. were working up there a little bit. Um, that looks like Joey there, but I'm seeing him from the kind of nozzle. <laughs> uh, Joey, congratulations on your um, on your selection. How are you? I know you're, you're missing minutes from a from a playing point of view, but just how are you feeling generally in terms of uh, health and fitness and, uh, and, the, and the big task this coming weekend? Yeah. Um... Really excited for the weekend now. Um, I feel like I'm I'm ready. Um, feeling like I'm ready to go, um, both mentally, mentally and physically. Um, tr- training's gone really well this week, and last week was uh, really good as well. So yeah, feeling feeling really ready. Can you talk about playing alongside Jemison Gibson Park and the sort of combination that you your combination of him and what you'd be hoping to do is. Uh, uh, on, on leashing that are back division. Um, yeah, I've I've played with them a few times before. Um, get on really well with them. So looking forward to getting out there with them. Um, he's a great guy to play outside. He uh, he brings great tempo and uh, brings players in around him. So um, he makes my job a lot easier. So yeah, really looking forward to that. I just thought of France on the defensive threat. Or the, 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 yeah, the, the attacking threat that they oppose you um, this coming weekend is going to be a huge test, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, you don't really. You can just look at their team, and there's almost a threat everywhere. So um, we're, we have to be on top of our game. Um, but really looking forward to the challenge ahead. Thanks, Joey. Terry, when when Johnny stepped out of training yesterday, did you get a, a tingle of anticipation down your spine? Do you think that this is it? This is my moment. Um, didn't really think about it uh, until I was actually told. Um, we we do a lot of switching in and out anyway during training. So, um, when I was told to just stay in, it was yeah. Look, I was I was excited and great to get. Um, looking forward to getting some minutes under my belt and um, yeah. But to be honest, over the last two or three weeks in Portugal in the Welsh week, um, was in and out with them a lot. So uh, yeah, I'm feeling very very confident. Yeah, he's 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 obviously very experienced, and it's great. He's a great guy to chat to. Um, but I feel like my preparation has been very good. So, and um, with the help of him and the coaches, I think I feel like I'll be ready to go on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, really excited for that. And just finally for me, Andy said he, he wants you to play your own game, express yourself. What do you see as your own game? What can the Irish fans expect to see from you on Saturday? Um, I, I suppose it's hard to put into words, but it's just uh, playing what's in front of me, getting a feel for the game, um, trying to make guys around me look good, um, and yeah, just try and combine everything and do the right thing. Thanks, Jerry. Best luck. Thank you. Hi, Joey Ashling here from Off the Ball. How are you? Good, good. Yourself? So, thank you. Um, it's a massive opportunity for you, Joey. Your first Six Nations start. Can you tell us just when you first initially heard the news that you were going to be in there getting your first start? How you felt? Yeah, really, really excited. Um, obviously, been involved in a few Six Nations campaigns before, but um, looking forward to getting getting the start from um, from the go ahead. And um, yeah, just really excited and looking forward to Saturday. And would you say this is your biggest game in your career to date? Uh, I don't know. It's. <laughs> I, don't, I think I'll only be able to answer that question when I'm retired. Um, yeah, I'm not really looking at it like that. I'm just going out to do my job um help the team the best way I can. Um I think everyone's everyone's humming and really, really excited for the weekend. So um if I can help out the guy inside and outside of me, then uh, I'll be doing my job and hopefully we'll be in a good spot. That's great, Joey. Thanks, Mel. Best of luck. Thank you. Bye Joey. 
Simon Lewis here, hope you're well. Um, just wondering when you came back in the summer, was there an element of you feeling that you had to play catch up a little bit in, in, in an island setup? Was was there was there much catching up to do? Um obviously getting back up to speed with all the calls and um the systems within Ireland um maybe took me a week but um didn't look at it that way I, I wanted just to go out and um, enjoy being back playing again and uh, love being in the whole environment of the place so um, just just trying to enjoy every day get better um, and do my part as part of the team so um, wasn't necessarily looking at it that way yeah but um, three starts since I mean you, you must have been grateful for that 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 summer experience and then slotting in against Argentina how much do you think that stood to you coming into this week yeah massively massively I think every time I can get a start and get game time under my belt um it's a hugely beneficial so um having the November and having the summer tests behind me um I think it's, it, it leaves me in a good spot going into this weekend thanks best of luck thank you Uh, I don't think so. Um, I try to approach every game the same and um, not really um, change too much about it, um, regardless of the game. So I'm just going to go and go about my own my own ways the way I normally would, um, regardless of whether I was starting or on the bench or so. Um, just trying to be myself, really. And do you think you're a cool customer in the build-up to these matches, or do you get the the, the nerves and the butterflies? Um, because it, it, it must be obviously a different environment. Everyone talks about Paris, or France in Stade de France. It's a different thing. So how do you think? How do you deal with it in general? Um, I suppose yeah. Like I think anyone would get a bit nervous before any big game. I, I definitely do, so um, there'll always be that. But I suppose when you think back to what you've been through and the training, um, how it's gone the week previous, um, I think th it gives confidence to me in particular and then confidence to players around you. So um, knowing that you can lean back on the work you've done previous to this um, gives me massive confidence. And finally, did you, how was the reaction from your family Yeah, um, they were pretty delighted. Um, I think they're all going to try to get on a plane now to France. So there were one or two were going to come over anyway. But um, yeah, I think they're they're all pretty buzzing. We're, we're, we're not going to go before, and they're just made plans now. No, they were going to go before, but now I think there's a, an extended crew coming. Thank you. Good, good. Yourself? Good, thanks. You sound, uh, you sound pretty comfortable with that with all this. Yeah, um, I suppose I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to it. and um, Training's gone really well this week, so just looking forward to Saturday now and getting out there. And this wouldn't be your Six Nations debut if it wasn't for all the issues that you've been through. And, and you've obviously been robbed of a lot of match experience over that time, but what does the experience of those injuries, the adversity that you've had to come through, the, the kind of long work in the, in the you know, on your own in, in, in Munster or with Orgy Simon and the lads and that you know, rehab group when you put the out How has that kind of steeled your mental strength so that you're ready to go out and play these games? So you've been through so much already that, you know, 80 minutes in the start of France, you know, that's what you want to do. This isn't, this isn't pressure. What pressure is is what you've been through before. Yeah, massively. Um, I think anyone who's been through a, a long-term injury knows how difficult it is. Um, so to have coming through that, um, it's definitely helped me mentally to definitely enjoy the the good things in life sometimes. So to be honest, I'm just delighted to be back playing, um, to be back out there injury-free and um, just relishing the whole environment of going into such a big game on the weekend. and. Um, it puts everything into context, really, when you're when you're when you're back playing and you're um, when you're not injured, I suppose. But no, it, it definitely having gone through that, I definitely feel like mentally I'm a lot stronger for it. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Just like, yeah, I know you're competing on 
the captain for, for starting spot. So that's that's always going to be difficult. But is your sense that if you play well on Saturday, is your jersey yet to lose? Um, I suppose in the environment that we're in, it's um, it's so competitive anyway. Um, like in training, everyone's trying to put their hands up. So all I can kind of do is go out and put my best foot forward and see where that goes from there. Thank you. We'll take the last couple for Joey there. Happy enough? Okay, lads, we'll leave it there and we'll see you in Paris.